and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about all of the cozy autumn reads for this year. I did notice as I was going through my list that the majority of them were about witches. So if you like witches and you like magic, definitely stick around because I think that you might really enjoy lots of these. And even if you don't, there are a few books that I've tossed in here that don't have witches in them, but the majority of them do. I do feel like when you have a book centered around witches, it does bring in other spooky elements. And for me, whenever I'm picking out a fall read, I want that spookiness, I want that darkness, and who doesn't love magic? <laughs> Come on. Go ahead and grab yourself your softest blanket and a cozy warm beverage. Let's go ahead and let's get into our first book. I did get a majority of these books from my local library, and I think that that's a really good alternative for if you have a long reading list like me, instead of going and spending a ton of money on like 20 books, I would definitely see if your library has them. For one, it supports your local community, and two, it's just a cozy experience going into a library. I had to share this series with you first. I read this last year, and I wish so bad that there was some way that I could read it again for the first time because it's just so good. But it's the Discovery of Witches series. It's actually called the All Souls Trilogy. The Discovery of Witches is the first one. Shadow of Night is the second one. And then the Book of Life is the third one. So the trilogy follows our main character, Diana, who is a witch and she is studying at Oxford. And this is kind of where all the autumnal vibes come in because it's Oxford in England in the autumn. And it's just really, really pretty. But she's in the Bodleian Library and she accidentally calls this very rare, very powerful manuscript. And she like, there's a whole interaction when she gets a hold of it. And anyway, it basically alerts like all of these creatures that are trying to get this manuscript. And she ends up meeting Matthew, who is a vampire. And he's doing different studies at the university as well. And he really wants that manuscript because it explains how vampires are created and destroyed. And if that manuscript gets in the wrong hands, then it's very bad, which there are some people that are not so good trying to get a hold of it. So they end up teaming up and you just find out how deep that the story runs and more about Diana and her powers and there's a romance here if you haven't already gotten that so it's honestly just they're just amazing books they are just oh they're so good <laughs> so the very next series I actually picked up from the library and it's the practical magic series and I have three of them so I'm just missing the book practical magic itself I will get my hands on it don't worry but I grabbed the other ones just because they actually had them but you can read them in different orders so you can read them in the way that they were published which I'll put that on the screen here or you can read them in chronological order essentially it's all about you guessed it witches <laughs> they follow the Owens family and they actually carry a generational curse so in each book it's a different generation of the family and they have to find a way to break the curse and they learn about their magic and I've heard really great things about it I think it's either a show or a movie so the next book I picked up is the League of Gentlewomen witches and this follows our main character Charlotte who is the leader of a secret society of witches but she's stumbles upon an amulet that's very powerful and very rare and a lot of bad things want to get their hands on it. She is in charge of protecting it. Along the way, she meets a very mischievous and handsome pirate, as we can see right here. They end up having to work together to protect this amulet and keep it from falling into the wrong hands. Sounds like a really great autumnal read. It has witches in there, which sold. Next up, we have The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter. So this one, I'm very curious about. So this actually follows Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde's daughters, and Mary Jekyll is very intrigued and very interested in her father's past after her parents pass away. She ends up working with Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Through their search, they end up finding a secret society of these absolutely insane mad scientists. So I thought the whole mysterious plot of this sounded really interesting, and I love secret societies. They're just very, very intriguing to me. So this one definitely piqued my interest. So the next book I have is A Deadly Education. And just look at this cover. Like that looks so freaking cool. It's basically about a dark magic school and the students that go there, they have to graduate. If they fail, they die. And that's a pretty intense punishment if you ask me. So our main character, Elle, actually possesses very powerful dark magic. And there's like monsters and very dark things that lurk in this school. And she has enough power to defeat these monsters, but it could cost the other students lives. This sounds very dark, kind of dark academia vibes, which I'm all about. That's the school, what the school looks like. I love books that have like more details and kind of get more of a visual of the setting and everything like that and just really immerse yourself into the story. So this one just seemed really cool. This next one I'm actually currently reading and I'm almost done. I have less than 50 pages left and it is getting so good. It is The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, but basically this is about a child 
child called Bod, which is short for nobody. That's his name. His family is murdered whenever he's a baby, and he ends up being raised in a graveyard by ghosts. As he grows up, you go through the adventures of him living in this graveyard with these ghosts, and you meet all the different ghosts and the different kinds of monsters in this graveyard, and it's just really cool, and all of the ghosts are so wholesome. They're just, they're awesome. They're all from different time periods, but as he gets older, he obviously seeks more answers to what happened to his family, who actually did it, and he just kind of wants to be in the world of the living because he's been in the graveyard for so long. So you see adventures of him exploring into the world beyond the graveyard. But even though he really wants to leave the graveyard, he is still in danger from this man because the man that murdered his family was never caught. And there is more to the story as to why this man did what he did. I'm not going to spoil anymore. This next one is very self-explanatory, but I had to include it because I've just enjoyed reading them so much. And that's the Harry Potter Potter series. I mean, this is literally the perfect time of the year to read Harry Potter. It's just cozy, it's magic, it's wizards, and Hogwarts is obviously like the quintessential autumn kind of setting. I'm actually on the third book of these. It gives me such a warm, fuzzy feeling reading these and watching the movies. Definitely can never go wrong with Harry Potter. This next book I wanted to read so bad last year, and I don't know why I never got to it. I just threw it on my list this year, and I'm so over the moon to read it because I've heard so many great things about it and that is the X hex so basically what happens is our main character is a young witch her heart gets broken by this guy this book takes place nine years after this event but she gets her heart broken by this guy being a young witch she puts a curse on him and she thinks that it's just this mild curse so flash forward nine years later he returns to this town called graves Glen I believe is our setting the curse is not as mild as she thought he's being haunted by these ghosts that are angry there's this uh, wind-up toy that is like evil that he's haunted by and it's just not what she thought it was. The curse is a lot more intense than what she had realized. So they end up having to work together to break this hex and it takes place in October close to Halloween so obviously the setting is perfect. I love the idea of mixing a rom-com in with like these autumnal spooky vibes. This is obviously a witch book so I had to grab it. So those are all the books that I currently have with me at the moment. The rest of these books are actually either on hold at the library or I need to go pick them up. <laughs> I'll just pop up the title so you can kind of see what the cover looks like. But the first one we're going to talk about is In the Company of Witches. I've heard it's the coziest of reads because it takes place in a bed and breakfast in this very small town and it has been run by this family of witches for 400 years but one day a guest that's staying at their bed and breakfast ends up dying and our main character her aunts actually run this inn and they are the prime suspects so she has to seek out and clear her aunt's name and figure out what actually happened here and she discovers that there is something much more sinister going on i love murder mysteries and it takes place at a bed and breakfast which is just cozy in itself so this next book is actually not even out yet it's coming out this coming week but it's probably out by the time you're watching this and that that is The Kiss Curse, and it's actually a sequel to The X Hex. It's about this girl named Gwen and her mom and her cousin. They've created a very powerful coven, and she actually owns her own witchcraft shop in the town. But then a guy named Wells, he returns to this small town to reestablish his family and ends up opening his own witchcraft shop directly across the street from her. So they start rivaling, but they do end up kissing, and they kind of just brush it off as nothing, but it somehow leads to finding out that there's like this very secret new coven that has worked their way into this small town and they end up having to work together to fight this coven and Gwen starts to lose her powers so they have to like set out and try to figure out what's going on before she loses all of her powers. This also takes place during the fall time and it just seems perfect. Next up, we have Payback's a Witch, and this follows our main character, Emmy, and she has kind of separated herself from her family just because of their drama and a lot of complicated family affairs, which I'm sure we can all relate to, but she ends up being convinced by her parents to come move back home, but after returning home, she meets Talia, who is adept in the dark magic arts. But Talia is fresh off of a breakup from Gareth, who's the heir to the most powerful magical family in that town, but they discover that he was also 
seeing Emmy's other best friend, Lyndon. So Lyndon and Talia decide to go seek revenge on Gareth and they pull Emmy in onto all of this and we just kind of see where the story goes from there. So I think that just kind of sounds like another rom-com and just a lighthearted fall read with a spooky twist by having witches. I'm curious to see what they do to this guy because they sound like they're pretty upset, which they should be, but I'm curious with their dark magic abilities, what what are they gonna do? <laughs> this next book has been everywhere, every fall book video that I've watched, and that is The Secret History by Donna Tartt. And this is a murder mystery. And the story revolves around this group of six friends and one was killed. The whole premise of the book is that they're reflecting on the events leading up to his murder. So you figure out exactly why he got murdered and how the whole thing went down. So I'm very curious to see what this involves. But I've heard that this book is really hard to put down. So I'm very excited to read this one. So this book is also a newer release and it's called The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. So our main character in this one is Mika Moon and she is a witch but she has to hide her powers but she actually posts videos online pretending to be a witch hoping that no one would believe her really thinking that no one would but then someone does one day and they send her a message and she ends up going out to a place called nowhere house where she ends up training three witches how to control their magic but while she's there there ends up becoming a threat knocking at their door that so she's gonna have to protect these witches while also teaching them their powers and I mean you can see why this would be like the perfect autumnal read and I'm excited excited to read this one and it just I've heard really great things about it I have it ordered from the library so I just I keep checking to see when it's coming in because this one's definitely more at the top of my list <laughs> next up we have cackle so yet again about some more witches <laughs> so this is about a girl named Annie and she just moved to a small town from Manhattan just to have a fresh start and she meets this girl named Sophie and her and Sophie start spending lots of time together but the more time she spends with Sophie she realizes that there's a few things that are kind of off with her the townspeople seem like they're a little afraid of her and she lives in a mansion in the middle of the woods a little sketchy a little spooky the next book that we have is the girl in white and I've heard this almost has Halloween town vibes to it which sold me instantly but it's about Mallory and she arrives to this town called Eastport and here these townspeople really take pride in having their town being the most haunted and they're always wearing these chunky sweaters and it's always just that spooky kind of vibe in the air but after Mallory arrives she begins having these these horrible nightmares, she loses chunks of time, things feel so off but she has this one particular nightmare about an old woman and she ends up encountering that old woman in real life so the town itself is actually celebrating the anniversary of its very first legend but Mallory ends up investigating a legend that has always terrified her and that's the legend of sweet Molly this just seems like one of the best books to read in the autumn especially on like a gloomy day just curled up with a hot coffee and a blanket and just delve into this world so this very next book was actually on my reading list last year but I didn't get Get to it and that's The Dark Witch by Nora Roberts and I believe this is the first in a trilogy. Our main character Iona ends up moving to Ireland to her family's castle. So she ends up going there, she starts reconnecting with her cousins and she gets a job at a local stable there and she meets a very handsome man that she starts to fall for. As she's there longer she starts to realize that there's some ancient evil tied up within her family roots and in her family tree. This very next one I'm pretty sure that you all have heard of it but that is Verity by Colleen Hoover and I I've yet to read a Colleen Hoover novel. I'm a little ashamed to say that because I feel like everybody in the world has, but I have not. And I'm hoping this will be my very first one. So this is about a girl named Lowen and she is a struggling writer and Verity is actually injured in an accident. Verity's husband hires Lowen to come finish Verity's successful series that she's written. And Lowen ends up having to go through Verity's office and her manuscripts. And she finds this autobiography that Verity has written that was never meant to be published or seen by anybody. And it holds these very dark secrets. Throughout the book, Lowen ends up falling for Verity's husband and she starts to realize well if he knows what's in this autobiography there's no way he can continue loving her anymore and he can love me so that's kind of where we go I don't know what kind of secrets that Verity has it just sounds very intriguing very dark and I've heard that it's a very eerie book I was reading some of the Goodreads reviews and it was saying how like people were so spooked but they just wanted to keep reading and they couldn't put it down and I love that feeling next up is another Colleen Hoover read and that is Layla so Leeds and Layla end up falling in love, but Layla ends up having an accident and that puts her into the hospital and it kind of alters 
things between her and Leeds. So Leeds ends up taking her to the bed and breakfast that they met, hoping to kind of rekindle and respark things for Layla. But some very weird things start happening. And Leeds ends up meeting this other guest there who is also having some of the same concerns about some very strange things happening. And Leeds tries to find some answers as to what the heck's going on, but it ends up conflicting with Layla's well-being. He ends up having to make a very important decision of which one to help because he can't help them both and if he makes the wrong choice it could be very detrimental to all of them i just i don't understand i don't know what could be going on there i don't know what kind of crazy stuff is happening i want to know this one seems really good and i've heard colleen is an amazing writer i'm excited to become obsessed with her work all right you guys so that is going to wrap up all of my cozy autumn reads if you've read any of these or any of them in particular sparked your interest comment down below because i would love to know which books sound really good to you and if you've read any of them comment that too because i want to know what you think but no spoilers no spoilers in the comments i really hope that you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below because it really does support my channel and again thank you so much for being here and for watching and just for having a cozy chat with me and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night and i will see you in my next video bye